Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's, it's been a long time since my last confession. What are you here to confess, my son? Father, I've, I've just done something terrible. Continue, my son. Father, I, I've, been a, I've been a happily married man for 20 years, but the past few months have been hard. My wife has been sick the past five years, fighting cancer, and I'm the only one she has taken care of her. Through times like these, one does begin to feel that they can no longer walk with their heavy burden. Yes, Father, I, I understand that, but that is not the terrible thing that I have done. Continue, my son. As I've said, for the past few months, they've just been hard. My wife has been bedridden because of the, the radiation, so she sleeps a lot during the day. So, so I go to a diner a few blocks away every day to get some coffee, just so I can have some time to myself. Well, there, there's a waitress there. I usually didn't pay her much attention for the Excuse past me. few months. I went there late one night because I couldn't sleep, and she was there. Hey, hon. What are you doing here so late? I was about to ask you the same thing. I didn't think you worked the late night shift, too. I don't. But the night shift waitress had an emergency, so I covered for her. So you're gonna have your usual coffee, one creamer, two sugars? I'll just have it black. All right. Here you go. Can I get you anything else? Hey, honey, are you okay? You seem kind of down. She asked me how I was. I started to tell her about my life, how I was feeling. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. You are doing a great job taking care of your wife. I completely understand why you feel the way you do. And I know I, I don't know you all that well, but I want you to know that I'm here for you if you just need someone to talk to. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Hey now, none of that. Not on my shift. What do you say we lighten the mood up and go for a drink? My shift ends soon. What do you say? You know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I should have told her no, but I agreed, and after her shift, we left, and we, we went to a bar and had some drinks, and when we were done, she invited me back to her place. <laughs> so, do you want another drink? Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, vodka would be so nice. You want it on ice? Uh, no, no. There you go. <laughs> 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 <I'm> sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> how are you feeling? Pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed going to the bar and. Mm -hmm. I just really needed that. <laughs> Feels good to not have to worry about anything for once. <laughs> I know the feeling. I want some music. <laughs> Love this. Uh, who is this? Am I making you uncomfortable? Uh, no. Not at all. Good. Because I've wanted to do this all night.
Don't be ashamed. Let's dance the night away. Hey, it's not the same. Just cause you're pissed, don't cuss my name. Please, this ain't okay. We slept together and have been for several months now. And I know it's wrong, Father, but I just, she makes me feel so good. And now I think I'm falling in love with this woman. Have you told your wife? No, I, I haven't. I, I don't have the heart. If I do, it may kill her. I don't, I don't know what to do. Father, just please, just tell me what to do. Well, my son, First, I want you to say 100 goodbye Anne's. Um, Father, don't you mean Hail Mary's? No, John. I meant goodbye Anne's. Wait, how did you know her name? Wait, how did you know my name? That waitress you've been sleeping with is my wife. I've been following you two, waiting for the right moment. Excuse me. Thought I wouldn't find out. I've always been one step ahead of you. Babe, what are you doing? Just come to bed. Oh, sweet, sweet Anne. I hope John was worth it. What? Babe, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you doing? Now you and him can be together forever. <laughs> no! 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 By the way, I'm not a priest. <coughs>